Epilepsy is a condition of recurrent seizures. It's spontaneous seizures. They can be caused by many different reasons, including stroke, Alzheimer's disease, brain tumor, or even in the young, malformations of the brain during the birthing process and during development. Who it affects can be any walk of life, any individual, regardless of their social economic structure, their culture, their race, their native land of origin. It affects everybody throughout the world. Very interestingly, it looks as though there are more individuals now than there used to be that are affected with epilepsy, with 3.4 million people in the United States and 60 million worldwide, making it one of the most common chronic neurological illnesses that exist in the world. We need to identify the seizures and their site of origin. We have special techniques they may be applied in the operating room to both record their brain activity, use electrical stimulation to help map out safe areas from harmful areas if surgery will take place in and around that lesion. What new approaches that we take here at Mayo Clinic may not be significantly different than what other people do at different institutions. The way we do it, I think, is a little unique. First and foremost, our patients are awake when we have potentially an inoperable lesion that's causing someone's seizures. The second thing is that we use a special type of uh, customized recording device to identify areas of activity that might be important for epilepsy. The third is that in the operating room, we perform relatively routinely stimulation to separate abnormal from normal tissue, so a complete removal can be performed. In the operating room, we have the challenge of trying to understand what areas of the brain are eloquent, what allows you to move your arm, your face, what allows you to talk or understand speech. What this circular device has further helped us understand is not only what parts of the brain are producing abnormal electrical activity, which potentially needs to come out at the time of surgery, but it also allows us to stimulate the brain and make sure that when the patient suddenly stops talking or the arm begins to move or something really abnormal happens, that we make sure that we understand what part of the brain is producing that abnormal electrical activity because that is the part of the brain that we need to potentially resect. And I think that that's really one of the greatest utilities. What the circular grid is allow us to do is to circle an area of the brain and be able to precisely localize and begin to understand how is that area of the brain working at the time that we're stimulating the brain. I think that we are at the forefront of not only doing intraoperative, high-density recording of parts of the brain that are abnormal, but also in the fact that we will be able to do safe surgery by utilizing novel tools that allow us to do safer and larger resections, which ultimately benefit the patient. The benefit of having a patient awake during surgery is that, number one, they're not exposed to anesthesia. Number two, that the complication rates are less, the hospitalization is shorter, and the cost overall to an institution is a lot less.